Hi, my name is Sean. Hi, I'm Bob. And people have asked us to defend the doctrine of eternal security biblically. Where does the Bible teach that once saved, we are always saved? Well, in our opinion, it is taught throughout the New Testament. Right. I mean, John 3.16, everybody knows it, right? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Or many translations say, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. It's a guarantee. If you believe in him now, you're guaranteed that you'll never perish and you have everlasting life. Second passage would be John 5.24. That's where Jesus said, He who hears my word and believes in him who sent me, because the Father sent the Son that people would believe what he said, has everlasting life, present tense. Future tense, shall not come into judgment, that is concerning everlasting life, but has already passed from death into life, past tense. So he's saying the believer has everlasting life now, shall never come into judgment concerning eternal destiny, and has already passed from death into life. That, that's a done deal. It's a showstopper. Yeah, and you know, the funny thing is, Bob wrote a book, uh, Four Views on the Role of Final uh, Works at the Final Judgment, uh, with these three other contributors, and each of those contributors argued that Christians are going to be judged, <laughs> and they're going to pass that judgment based on their works, even though John says, shall not come into judgment with regards to their eternal salvation. It's right there, and they ignore it. They believe that Christians will come into judgment. It's a powerful promise, and it's one we shouldn't ignore. If our theology says we're going to come into judgment concerning eternal destiny, it's time to change our theology. Mm -hmm. A third verse, uh, I think, would be the one where uh, Jesus is talking to Martha, and he says, he who lives and believes in me shall never die, John eleven twenty six. This is a statement of eternal security. He's already said in John eleven twenty five 25 that believers do die and they'll be raised one day, but the one who lives and believes in Jesus is never going to die spiritually. And that's a wonderful promise, too. That's a wonderful promise that so many churches, again, have missed because they teach and warn their people that if they mess up, if they stop believing, if they do uh, a terrible sin or start walking away from the Lord, they will die spiritually. And some of these churches also teach a daisy theology. It's kind of like one day they're alive and then it's possible for a believer to be dead and then alive again and then dead again and then alive and again and dead again. Well, Jesus taught something completely different. He taught once you believe in him, you pass from death into life, and that's permanent. Not because of anything you've done, but because of what he promises to do. Because of his power, he keeps you. Yeah, and the Apostle Paul, remember in the, the famous verse in uh, 2 Timothy 1.12, we sing this song sometimes, I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he's able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day, looking at the judgment seat of Christ. Paul knows he's going to be at the judgment seat of Christ. He knows he's secure. And he knows that there will be rewards for the works which he's done. And so the idea that somehow Paul didn't know for sure his eternal destiny is silly. He said to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And he knew he was going to be with the Lord. And so all through Scripture, the promise of eternal security is there for anyone who's just open to what God has to say. I think one of the most powerful verses for me in terms of eternal security is Jesus' promise in John chapter 10, verses 28 and 29, where he says that the believer is in his hand and in the Father's hand. Once you believe in Jesus, you are kept safe in his hand. And no one, including yourself, can snatch you out of the Father's hand or hit Jesus' hand because the Father is greater than everyone, including you. There's nothing you can do to lose eternal life. Not because you're so great, not because you have to hang on to it, but because Jesus promised to keep you until the very end. It's because Jesus is so great and because Jesus is faithful to his promise. So if you want to believe in eternal security, I think the biggest challenge for you is to take the eye, your eyes off yourself. Yes and put them on Christ. Put them on His promise. Stop looking at what you can do and your failings, because you're going to fail, and just look at Christ, because He does not fail.